Hey guys, we are live on Facebook and we are live on Instagram as well. Good to see you guys again this week. Um, every week, Tuesday at 3, we have our live sessions. And this is just to be able to interact with the users, um, to talk to you guys about financial concepts, to talk to you guys about all of the things that you want to know. Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Um, yeah, so if there's any questions from your side, send them through and you can even send them through throughout the week um, and see how it is going. Great guys, so welcome joining in on our Tuesday live session at 3. So we have a few questions this week and um, we're going to talk a bit about self-esteem and how you can increase uh, what you do in life as an entrepreneur. Uh, so. The general question was something in the line of that. Hi oh, Anamari, thanks for joining in. Hi oh, Jock, thanks for joining in. I think it's all the way from the UK, if I'm not correct. Clipgoers, go check out Clipgoers now. It's a South African blog on entrepreneurship. And um, yeah, uh, he features all of the local entrepreneurs in there. Cool guys, so the question was something in that line of... Um, hi Estian, thanks for joining in of self-confidence and how do I pursue more in life? How do I get more in life? So there's three steps that you can take as an entrepreneur, as a hustler, as a businessman, as someone that just wants more in life, more wealth, uh, more time and um, more enjoyment in life. So the first step is to love yourself and to know who you are. And that sounds very, very like um, hippie vibes, but um, you need to know who you are and you need to love yourself for who you are and understand uh, what you are doing here. So that's a trick guys. Subconsciously, if you believe that you deserve more in life, you sue more. Sense to you guys. So you have good people in life, most good people in life don't think they deserve a lot. So they won't go out of the way to pursue more than what they think they are worth. Hi Yori, thanks for joining in. So you need to increase what you think you are worth. If you are, you think you're worth this, Arman, thanks for joining in, then you would only pursue this. You would only think that you deserve this in life. If you think that you are worth this, then you will pursue that in life and you would think that you deserve that in life. Ivan, thanks for joining in. Uh, welcome to our weekly sessions every Tuesday. Um, Shalandri, Jock, Annemarie, Estian, Michael, Yori, Armand and Ivan, what is up? Ask me any questions that you have about entrepreneurship, business. Um, how to improve your business, your entrepreneurial journey, your side hustle, and we will answer them live. And we can give you the answer in this session. So ask any questions. The question that we're talking about now is, how do I pursue more? How do I achieve more in life? And the answer is that it starts with believing that you deserve more. Because if you believe you deserve more, you will pursue more. And you will get more for yourself in life. Cool guys, I hope that one helps. Um, the next uh, question is, Albert, things are moving too slowly for me. I started my business and I'm not making money yet. I'm not, I don't have my Ferrari, Ferrari yet. I don't have my big beach house yet. Um, I'm not a millionaire yet. I just started my business. What, what am I doing wrong? And the answer to that is we need to, we need to understand the process as an entrepreneur isn't an overnight success. You're not going to be an overnight success. It's going to be overnight work. Okay, you're going to work throughout nights. You're going to um, put in a lot of hours, a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of effort. You're going to need to educate yourself in terms of financial knowledge and tips and tools. And only then, if you apply all of those things, you will achieve your goals. A talk that I saw from Eric Creer talks about accretion. Okay, accretion is the sum of a lot of small efforts to eventually get to the big goal, to get to the big success. So what I want to tell you guys in terms of that question, Albert, 
I'm not seeing the success immediately. It takes too long. Stick with it. Be persistent. Success is the sum of small efforts day in and day out. So keep hustling every morning, every night, every day. Do the small things every day. And you will see that they gradually get you to the big success that you want. Guys, we're still young. If, if you're 20 years old today, if you're 20 years old today, you can literally take 10 years, 10 years, and see what's happening. 10 years, try your idea. 10 years, try your business, and you would still be young. You would still be 30 years old. So guys, accretion, daily small activities to get you to the point where you want to be. Salandri, so Jock. Anamiri, Estian, Michael, Yori, Armand, thanks for joining in. Ivan, do you have any questions and we can answer them live and we can talk about them. How's your business is doing? What are you doing? Uh, tell me a bit more about that. Okay guys, so the last one is one I want to challenge you with this week. And that is, I'm going to ask you guys a question. And that is, what are you focusing on? What are you focusing on? Okay, I did a course this week with Barry Skitter and NPL, uh, sorry, NLP, and it, one of the things that we talked about was your reticular activating system, your reticular activating system, okay? And that is the thing in your brain that tries to prove you right. Reinhard, thanks for joining in. So we're talking about the reticular activating system in your brain, and that is the thing that tries to prove you right. And it will try to prove you right on the things that you focus on. So let's say, look, I'm a big Merck fan. I'm a Mercedes-Benz fan. So let's say I drive in my car and I believe, I focus on Mercedes-Benz and I believe that Mercedes-Benz is the best vehicle out there. Then my reticular, reticular activating system, for short, it's your RAS. My RAS will show me, uh, subconsciously, will show me everything that proves that the Merc is the best car and will also show me everything that proves that the other cars are not the best car. So I will drive on the highway and subconsciously I will see another car make that's smoking on the highway or I will see a, a beautiful Mercedes driving by. But the rest of the information, my brain will actually delete the rest of the information and it will just go by. But the thing that I focus on that reticular activating system will show me the things that I believe in. So this becomes a problem. If you're thinking that South Africa has an, a bad economy, if you think that there's no opportunity in South Africa, everywhere you go, your RAS will show you, look, you see, there's no opportunity here. Look here, you see, bad economy. Look here, and all of the good things will just go by your brain will subconsciously delete all of the good things if you focus on hi class thanks for joining in if you focus on the positive economy or the positive opportunities if you say there are a lot of opportunities here and I believe that the economy is good for business then your RAS your reticular activating system will show you all of the good things it will show you look there's another opportunity look there's an op another opportunity Look, there's proof that the economy is good. So my question is, guys, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the positive things in life? Are you focusing on the good things in your life? Or are you th focusing on the bad things? Because your brain will only subconsciously show you what you are focusing on and subconsciously delete all of the other things. You can only keep so so many information in your brain at once. So guys, we need to focus on the correct things. Focus on business, focus on wealth, focus on the positive opportunities around you and you will see them everywhere and you will start to be really getting good at um, business and finance and the positive things. Armand, confirmation bias. Yes, that is also what it's called. So your brain will confirm your belief. Cool guys, any other questions from you? Let me know, then we can um, talk about it. Guys, we are also um, got some good news for you. 
the book is nationwide in exclusive books, bargain books, scoops, CNA, PNA, um, uh, all of the book, uh, I think Wordsworth, all of the bookshops nationwide. And we are arranging a few book signing events. I think the first one is coming up in uh, 24 November, 25 November at Graffiti Bookstore in Zambezi. And then we have another one the 2nd December in um, uh, exclusive Boggan Books Springs. So, and then we are busy organizing with exclusive books Brooklyn and exclusive books Menland for some book signings. So I'm looking forward to that, having some, a lot of book signings still this year. And we are busy planning all of the schools that we're going to visit next year. We're busy planning the route. So we will visit all of the schools next year. If you have a school that you want us to visit, um, drop us an email or direct message on our social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook. Michael, thanks so much for joining in. Um, and then um, we can book your school as well. So guys, awesome news. We have the books in store nationwide. We're going to all of the schools. Super excited. Uh, the Millionaire 22 brand is going and the How to Become a Millionaire 22 books are selling. Um, so if you haven't got your copy yet, uh, get the How to Become a Millionaire at 22 book. It's um, available at all stores nationwide as well as the website, um, our website www.millionaire22.com. Cool guys, thanks so much for um, joining in this week for our live session. Be sure to catch us again next week, Tuesday. I hope I answered your questions today. If you have any questions, you can send them to, to us um, throughout the week on our social media platforms and we will answer them. Quibbers, thanks so much for joining in. If you're just joining in now, I'm just going to sign off so you can watch the whole live feed at the top of your screen and um, see it from the start. Cool guys, have a great Tuesday and um, then we'll see you again next week.